morning. Just leaving Humbug Mountain State Park. And I hope today to get in maybe 50 miles to Harris Beach State Park, which will get me within about 25, 30 miles of the California border, which will make me happy. Good morning, Pacific Ocean. Happy Monday to ya. I had a really nice little break here. Good view, good cell phone connection. We'll be able to catch up with a few people. And um, yeah, what more can I say, man? This is what bike touring is all about. Just being able to pick a little spot and chill out for a while. 10 miles in on the day. Finally hit a little bit of a flat stretch here. It's 10 o'clock on a Monday morning. And I'm just getting into Gold Beach, Oregon. the mighty Rogue River. Today is day 18 of consecutive days riding, averaging 45 to 50 miles a day. So I'm trying to take it easy, take a lot of breaks. I still feel really good, I feel strong. Just at the end of the day, I can feel some aches and pains I don't normally have. Just south of Gold Beach, there's a big hill. I just spent about 40 minutes in my lowest gear grinding it out. Well, today's history lesson tells us that the Spanish were the first to explore this part of the coast in 1603. That's what you learn from roadside stops. I made a mistake to today and blew right through Gold Beach there. I should have stopped and at least gone to the grocery store. And flash forward two hours to here, and now I realize I don't have much food. Campground's not that far away, and I don't know if there's any stores between here and there. So if that's the case, I'm gonna have to keep going to Brookings. But I had plenty to eat yesterday, and I still have half a Cliff Bar and a cup of noodle if it comes down to it. How's my hair? Well, I made it here to uh, Harris Beach State Park. Did not get any food, but I have my cup of noodles. I just ate that. And now I'm going to ride two miles into Brookings. Get some more food. Because food is very important. And then uh, ride back here. And spend Good morning. Time. Here at the Harris Beach State Park. And my last night in Oregon. Today I'll get into California. As we're here in the town of Brookings. Which is pretty much the last town in Oregon. Not much video from yesterday afternoon as I was too busy socializing oh, and looks fancy. like Shrek is on his e-bike here <laughs> I'm cheating I'm a big fat cheater yeah, big, big, big fat, fat cheater, cheater. I've been told he, he's all. got a long extension cord too I think <laughs> yes I just keep it uh, plugged in the whole ride <clears throat> and then just you know and then when, when I get to the end of the extension cord I unplug go back <laughs> and then I, I run ahead and find another outlet <laughs> plug it in so I'm never out of battery I am just leaving the Harris Beach State Park Good morning. Which was very nice here actually. This park is nice. Facilities are well maintained. A lot of it looks fairly new. Nice hiker biker site. And met a lot of really cool people last night. So good times as I head to Crescent City. Well, it's a cloudy start to the day here on the south coast of Oregon as I've only got a few more miles left to go and I will be back in the Golden State. I've made it to the California border and unexpectedly it was kind of emotional. I wasn't ready for that. 
but yeah, connecting the dots between Canada and California on a bike ride has been kind of a long, long dream. And I finally did it. I don't think I'm gonna make it all the way back to the Bay Area, but I did go from Canada to into California. So yeah, it really kind of hit me hard when I saw the sign. I don't know, I wasn't ready for that, but sorry to be such a wuss. Back into California, it feels good. I'm up over 850 miles total on the trip. Definitely puts a little more wind in your sails when you hit some kind of milestones. I need to pay better attention. Cruising down 101, realizing the shoulder disappeared. A lot of trucks and I look and then my phone says, hey, you should be on this blue line on the ACA route on a side road and it's much nicer. Here we go again, another one of these dealios. Well, on that bridge crossing, I decided just to take the lane. It seemed safer to do that than try ride on the shoulder. Consequently, I had a line of about 12 cars behind me, but they were all pretty patient. Back on some nice quieter roads now. The route took us, uh, took me temporarily back on the 101 just to get across that river to get onto a bridge. Now it's a bit quieter out here and a little more uh, scenery to look at. check in at the hotel was not till three. I got there at one, so I spent the last two hours driving around. All right, 6 a.m. on a Wednesday and I'm leaving Crescent City and I'm leaving a crappy Motel 6 behind. Got an early start at 6 a.m. because at 8 a.m. they close the road for construction. So I gotta get going and beat the, the deadline. a.m. It's about 35 minutes from now. I think I'm only a couple miles away, but there's lots of hills, so I'm hoping for the best. If I can get through that road closure before 8 o'clock. All right. Two good things to see. The road closure is up ahead. I got time. And there's a downhill for two miles. Woohoo! what the fuss is all about. Phew, I've only done ten and a half miles. <clears throat> Excuse me, only ten and a half. But I feel exhausted already because I had to totally kick butt getting up that hill in time. They closed the road at eight. It's closed for four hours. I would have had to wait till 12 by the side of the road. Wouldn't have been fun. I did have about 20 minutes to spare. So, whew, thank God that's over. It's about 8.15, I believe, and the road is closed now, so there's no traffic behind me, which is really nice. So, maybe it was worth it, but I don't know. That was a most uh, tiresome stretch of road on this whole trip, was getting up that hill in time for the road closure. So, whew, yeah, I'm gonna take it easy for the rest of the day. Mm, probably not. Ooh, nice stretch of coast here into the fog and it was pretty cold coming down there but I'm not going to complain downhill is always better than up well you know how it goes
so nice and quiet riding through here. No cars. A little bit of the sun kind of peeking through the trees. There he is, Paul Bunyan and Babe. All right, this is the way the ACA route goes. So we're gonna follow that and get off of 101. All right, I'm here at uh, Fred's Memorial Grove and I just hit 900 miles for this trip. Down here, the redwoods are just looking fantastic today. It just uh, brings tears to my eyes almost seeing these beautiful trees. Just passing through the Elk Prairie Visitor Center. And I think I got about 20 miles to go to my destination today. After a nice downhill run there, I emerged from the Redwood Groves and I'm back at the ocean where it's very nice and peaceful and actually not that windy. So I'm going to take a little break here, eat some snacks, have my Gatorade, kind of recharge for my final well, 13 miles or so I got to go to the campground and it's about one o'clock. picking up considerably uh, and the shoulder comes and goes. I just got to Patrick Point State Park and what a relief after 54 miles, 3,500 feet of climbing. Uh, I'm pretty worn out. Looking forward to setting up my tent and doing some relaxing.